and another one bites to dust youtube team keep it clean what's going on it's engraving here with another video a little late night ravens update video I like this this is like a little news to just put you to sleep real quick so you can get a good nice rest and wake up saturday like hey is it raven steelers time yet uh, and then you'll have to wait a whole another day anyway team keep it clean the ravens have released uh cedric ogbui um, he was somebody that I was thinking, hey, maybe the Ravens may give him a shot on the offensive line if the offensive line is still looking rough. Uh, but no, he never really got that shot. Um, but it's it's all good. Hopefully the Ravens with their uh, guys that they've been getting back from injury, uh, like a Patrick McCarry, hopefully he'll be better and he'll be more in the groove uh, this next game around. And he was looking better uh, against the Browns last week. Now, he did have a tough assignment with Jadavian Clowney, but um, yeah, and now with T.J. Watt, they said T.J. Watt, he tested negative. Oh, so if he tests negative on Saturday, then he's playing on Sunday. So, and, and Harbaugh already said that they're preparing as if they're facing uh, T.J. Watt, and that's what you got to do. And I, I believe they had some other guys. Cam Hayward, he may be out. That would be huge if he's out. That would be huge. Um... Either, I think Spillane or Highsmith. One of, I think it's Spillane. I think he is out for this game too. But anyway, uh, with Cedric Ogbui, it's weird because Ravens, I, I can't predict their moves anymore. Because you just, like, we all had, we had the scare a couple days ago when they signed those two cornerbacks to the practice squad. And then Marlon Humphrey, he had posted on, on Twitter, COVID, COVID, COVID. And it was like, oh, hold up now, Marlon, don't, don't be doing that. And then I think that same day, there were like three cornerbacks that didn't practice. Now, um, since then, Marlon Humphrey has been, he's just been showing up at Wizards games. He's just been showing up courtside at Wizards games. Like, oh, yeah, I'm here. I, I ain't practiced today. I, I, I was out of practice because I have an illness. But he showed up at the Wizards game. So he must be good. He must be straight because he can't be too bad. I, I mean, well, maybe, maybe he's feeling better. Mm, okay, so he's feeling better, so that, that, that's why. But anyway, um, with, with Cedric Ogbui, this now this, this is something right here, because I, I don't think I've ever seen this before, and if y'all have, please let me know, but I don't think I've ever seen it before where somebody is on... <laughs> and I'm, I'm not laughing because this is somebody that lost their job, but just the, the way that the Ravens did it, I'm like, whoa, that's okay now. Because they, they, you know, their long, super, super long Walmart receipt of the list of injured players. Um, so Cedric Ogbui was right at the top. And his status, his game status was out. And today he said he did not participate in practice. And I was like, oh, okay, he didn't participate in practice. All right, well, okay, I guess he, he's officially not playing on Sunday. No, he got cut. It's like, whoa, okay now, Ravens. That's, I guess they're not lying because he didn't participate, but that's because they released him. Wow. But anyway, uh, Miles Boykin is looking like he's probably not going to play. We got like 50 million guys questionable. Um, my goodness, what a list this is. It's, it's ugly. Uh, but anyway, um, Jimmy Smith, they said that Jimmy Smith, he was a full participant, but then they said that he ended up like having an ankle injury. So, I mean, go figure, right? So Jimmy Jimmy Smith, his status is up in the air somewhere. Um, now I, I I did appreciate this. Is why I love Team Keep It Clean because they will simplify stuff when when we may be overthinking and not even sometimes overthinking. Sometimes some some stuff some stuff just has to be sort of overthought uh, because we just we we want to know we want to know why the Ravens make this move. We want to know why they make that move. Why? They don't make that move. Why? We just want to know. So when they were signing the cornerbacks the other day, uh, I was thinking it was something bad. I was thinking, hey, man, these, I don't know, man, these, <laughs> yikes. I thought it was bad news in, in bound. But um, I know my guy Rudy said it uh, and some other people said it. He said, hey, man, this, they could just be preparing. They could just be preparing because they know what it's like to lose corners in clutch moments. They know what it's like to be down corners. They know what it's like to have a just a lack of depth in the secondary. They know what it's like. So this could be the Ravens version of stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. And when my boy Rudy said that, I was like, ah, okay. 
I ain't mad at that. Not at all. Not one bit. So I appreciated that a lot. Um, just to give y'all a quick little update of how things are going to go uh, over these next couple of days. Tomorrow morning, um, early morning, not early morning, but mid morning, early, early, early afternoon. We're going to have a question from subscriber video dropping. Make sure y'all come through for that. Probably do it a little premiere style like we've been doing. Those, those premieres been a lot of fun. It's like we all watch together. Um, and then later on, we will probably have another episode of Question from Subscriber that drops. Uh, so y'all stay on the lookout for that. And then uh, Sunday morning, uh, we'll probably do our uh, Ravens and Steelers preview then. So y'all can stay on the lookout for that. Um, just a quick check-in too, because we haven't done a check-in since, I think since September, uh, it's been a really long time. Um, and the, the, the check-in for anybody that's still watching at this part of the video, what we like to do with the check-ins is just check in with y'all, see how y'all are doing mentally, uh, physically, just how things are going in your life. So feel free to put it in the comment section, whether good or whether bad, because it's always somebody that can relate to you. Uh, on both sides and hopefully you can find some encouragement in there um, and, and some uplifting there in the comment section because when um when we do uh, I see it a lot of times with team keep it clean and it'll be somebody that's going through something and just everybody just come through and they really like put them on their back and like hey we got you we got you so um for me personally uh, things are going pretty good right now uh, mentally, things are good. Um, just right now, just pretty much coasting. Uh, we getting toward the end of the season, but we 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 got a little a little rhythm um, going, like with, with work and stuff. So that that's been going pretty good. Uh, before work though, with family, that's been going great. Wife and Carter, they they doing a really they doing really good. Um, Carter in his school, he just been. Killing it, man. He's been doing a phenomenal job, and y'all know that we are his teachers since he is homeschooled, man. Um, also, just uh, yeah, so we're good on that in that front. Uh, with what else? Yeah, so we we good. We 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 doing pretty good. Um, but this, I just want to hear from y'all how y'all are doing. Like I said, good or bad. Um, just feel free to let us all know. Because, again, we, I, I, and that's my apology that I haven't been doing these check-ins a lot more. Um, but y'all stay up. Y'all stay positive. Uh, make sure you, you do something nice for somebody else. Every once in a while, it's, it's good to, to, to do stuff for other people. Because it's, it's nice. Hey, getting gifts and stuff is nice. Getting commendation, getting whatever. That's cool. But doing something for somebody else, it's even better. It's even better. Like you all heard the, the the saying in the scriptures, it's better to give than receive. There's more happiness in giving than in receiving. And initially, when you might first heard that, like especially if you're younger, even if you're older, you might be like, "Man, I love getting gifts." And this getting gifts is great. And I ain't talking about Christmas; just talking about gifts. Period. And that's that's nice, but giving is even better. So y'all keep on giving and not just in December. You can give gifts year round, literally year round. <laughs> so anyway, I love y'all team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. Y'all keep your heads up and I will see you tomorrow morning on questions from subscribers. And just like unfortunately Cedric, Cedric Ogbuye is when it comes to being with the Ravens, I'm out.